guys, this is your girl Jamie here. What is going on? How are y'all doing? <laughs> I hope y'all are having a blessed day. If you are Mr. Mr. P. Diddy Combs up in the jail cell on this Monday morning, you are not having such a great life. We used to see this dude going around doing the Harlem Shake and, you know, flaunting his money every chance he got. Well, the tables, whoo, the tables have turned, y'all. So much stuff came out over the weekend, and I had a chance to sit down and read Kim Porter's Tell All, allegedly her book. Well, y'all know her baby dad, her ex, Quincy, her oldest son, Albie Shore's dad, y'all. He come out talking about how he co-signed, yeah, that's her words, that's her book. Well, he didn't look so great in this book. If y'all haven't had a chance, I will link the book on, you know, in the details below. But yes, the book did not, was not in his favor. I don't know if he didn't have a chance to read it. It's on Amazon. For, it's like $22, y'all. But it did not go in his favor. But hey, if y'all are new to my channel, guys, welcome. And thank you for subscribing. Hit that subscribe button. Yes. And definitely, y'all, hit that like button. Once I get to 10,000 subscribers, I am going to get a new camera because my camera sucks. Thank y'all for mentioning it over the weekend. Look, good looking out, y'all. Yes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to definitely get a new uh, a new camera. Yes, it's mine is crap, I know. Sorry. Well, let me go ahead and just let's just jump right on into some of the details of this book. I'm going to keep this video like under five minutes, y'all. Well, she said, okay, I'll be sure and Diddy were friends. And, you know, it got kind of weird once they started dating. She started, Kim started dating out, I mean, uh, Diddy. Well, Kim says she, in the book, she walked into the house and these two were sitting around having a drink. And y'all know, we've heard the stories. We know what he's on trial, for, you know, what he's going to be on trial for, what he's in, sitting in that jail cell this morning up in New York. <laughs> He's known for putting things in drinks, so keep that in mind. <laughs> yes. She said he, they were sitting around having a drink, and then Diddy started asking about a threesome. Yes, with these three all together, and she said she was kind of weirded out because, and he's like, well, we've all been together in that way, just not all together. <laughs> said like a true narcissist. Yes. Well, she said, you know, things got started and she was <laughs> like she walked in and these two were going at it, y'all, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Could y'all like I don't, I can't even like, yeah, I don't even want that visual in my head, y'all, of Albie and Diddy, y'all. But she said that she couldn't, you know, she had a hard time with that too. And she just kind of walked out the door, and these two kept on blank in, y'all. Yes. <laughs> okay, so that was the beginning of the book, y'all. Like, it's like, what? We 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 coming straight out the gate, like, ooh, it was, yeah. I'm trying to think, y'all. It just, she said, let's see, Mary J. Blige. They all, you know. I'm trying to think of another way I could put it, so I don't get in trouble here on YouTube, guys. These three. These three went at it. <laughs> uh, let's see who else was mentioned. Jay-Z, you know. They all, you know. Even uh, the Simmons lady. her best, One of her best friends. Even, y'all, get a little of this. Get in a little closer, y'all. Even Tupac's fiancé when he passed. Yes. Quincy Jones' daughter, y'all. Her name starts, like, it's not Rashana, it's Kiki, it starts with a K. <laughs> yes, that one, guys. Yes, y'all. And these three were all good friends. They were all best friends. Kamora and Kim and Tupac's uh, Quincy's daughter. Yes, y'all. It just, whew. yeah, it's 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 weird, y'all. This every so look here. Here's what it came. It comes down to with Diddy. There isn't anything or anybody that came into this man because so much came out over the weekend, 
and there are so many names mentioned in this book and J-Lo um, I'm just trying yeah like all three I mean just any person that you think of was mentioned in the only person that was mentioned in this book that they did not you know have a threesome or a foursome twenty some or whatever <laughs> these people were doing is Faith Evans and the whole story with Faith Evans I don't know if I really believe it um, just because how, like in the book it kind of acted like Diddy made her get with Biggie you can't make somebody fall in love with somebody you can't make somebody sexually attracted to somebody and I mean if, if, unless if you put stuff in their drink um, but these two people went on got married and had a child together like you can't make somebody do all of that okay you can set somebody up I know I keep hitting my camera sorry guys you can set somebody up and then you know but that that whole part of that story now the only thing that I really found disturbing about the whole it just it is sad and disturbing and, and I don't want to ruin it all for everybody in case you do want to buy the book or you already have and you haven't read it yet or whatever or you're waiting on it it's just the fact that in this book it sounded like Kim was present for the conversations between P. Diddy and Jay-Z about the demise of Biggie and who and what was going to take place. So my theory is if because at some point it goes on to describe a situation in her kitchen where Diddy comes over and Kimora is there and Kim's like you know what I guess she was at her last her last you know straw with Diddy and she's like I'm not going to take this I'm coming out with a you know a tell all book and you're not going to keep coming over to my house uninvited type of you know like she she was just at her last straw like it, this isn't exact words that she used in like the book like I said I don't want to ruin it it's just me describing it real quick for you <laughs> but you know when a woman is fed uh, we get to that point and we, we just don't care like what I no mm -mm, no more it, it's just not happening lying in the sand homie mm -mm, you can't cross it she was setting her boundaries right y'all yeah, as you need to with narcissists. You need to set that boundary. And narcissists don't like boundaries. Now, I'm not sure who, like, as because she was dating other people. And allegedly they say that Diddy had her house. His body, his ex-bodyguard, Jean Dell, like, they were all coming out and saying, like, her house was rigged with cameras all over, and microphones and stuff all over the place. And... Yeah, I mean, that's a whole nother video in itself. Just the stuff, the craziness of what he was, you know, even doing, um, allegedly. <laughs> but now keep in mind, if she's coming out with a tell-all and she was present for all of these conversations about who was going to and then masterminding the demise, if y'all know what I'm, catch my, my drift on this, of Biggie. Now, okay, that's leverage. You know, it's not even really about money at this point. Like, she just felt trapped in this relationship because he had this over her head. You see what I'm saying? Like, and for her to be like, uh-uh, I'm coming out with a tell-all, da 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 And allegedly she, she sent, before she passed, allegedly she sent, you know her diary entries or you know from her laptop or whatever now it was rumored that her house did come up with stuff missing her laptops and you know her phones or whatever whatever so she saved it to like a cloud or something and sent it all to like a bunch of people before she passed which is smart really I would have personally sent it to like 
TMZ or nah, because I think to, I think Diddy's got TMZ all paid off. I would have sent it to anybody who would have anybody who would have listened. Now, was that enough to you know take her out? Yeah, I mean, because if she's, if she knows all the dirt and she's there for all the gossip and the dirt, she was there for the whole conversation when allegedly in the book that J Lo came to the door and her and Diddy were there and her son was out, you know, staying with somebody for the night. And J Lo's over there saying about the situation in the nightclub with Shine and how could you? You set him, you know, basically she, he set him up. <laughs> We all know that, you know, like what went down with that, and we know it was not Shine that the right person didn't go to jail. We'll just put it that way. It should have been Diddy. <laughs> so that case, I think that case needs to be reopened as well as Kim Porter's case because don't y'all find it funny that, and there's, there's, you know, all you got to do is look. Is, all you got to do is Google the Kardashians. I couldn't figure out last week how the Kardashians, like I knew they were tight with Diddy. I just assumed it was on a sexual level with all of them girls. and But I couldn't figure out how Kris Jenner, because everybody kept saying about Kris Jenner. Everybody that, you know, that has contacted me about any of this is like, nah, Kris Jenner. You know, I kept hearing it was a higher up woman that's at the, you know, behind all of this and I couldn't figure out why it would be Kris Jenner because everybody kept saying Kris Jenner y'all and I was like Kris Jenner like how I mean she's old school y'all like go sit her old ass down somewhere like come on lady go play bingo or do something old people do but then you look at Corey Gamble her her boyfriend okay he's like out of nowhere this dude comes out of nowhere he knows all these celebrities okay he, he, he works in that industry, okay? I, I give him that. He was, you know, one of the managers or whatever, whatever, of uh, Justin Bieber. Like, and all these A-list, you know, singers and stuff. Okay? Keep that in mind. And keep in mind that Kris Jenner and that whole Kardashian crew is real tight with Diddy. A little tighter than I thought would have had expected, but they real tight with Diddy, especially Kris Jenner. Now, who else was real? Who who ended up being super like best friends with Kim Porter? Hmm. No surprise, Corey Gamble. Now, how does Corey Gamble mix all into this? He was at when the coroners were at Kim Porter's house, y'all. Yeah, Chris uh, Corey Gamble is in the pictures of being at her house. He was present. Allegedly, they say he. I, I didn't haven't Google. I haven't looked into this one yet. But he was there when Michael Jackson did too. Now, they're saying that a lot of her stuff, her house was like, like somebody went through it, ransacked, and stuff was missing, like her cell phone. Her cell phone has that she had. Her cell phone, when the coroner showed up, was gone. It wasn't there. Nowhere to be found. And her last text messages to all her friends, and this is even in the book. But anybody who knows the story and has, you know, internet and TV and stuff nowadays, any of us could have found this out. But her last text messages to, like, Kio, um, Kiyoma, <laughs> Kamora, and, you know, her friends and stuff was, he got me. Now, y'all just think about that for a little bit. Sounds like, like, because she, I mean, think about it. She witnessed all this stuff. And the guy, they, she had started dating a couple guys. And they were all just coming up with the ammonia. And they were, they were passing away. Like, they were just, and then she catches ammonia. The corn, I mean, the, the guy that did the autopsy and then he passes away and they have somebody else do it and then all of a sudden when they have somebody else do it oh that's not the case it was this something totally different it went from a homicide to like oh it was just you know she got sick 
that or you know I mean it's just man the whole story don't add up so that whole this whole Kim Porter and Diddy situation needs to be reopened for sure but if y'all haven't checked out that book yet go ahead and go on Amazon and you know go ahead and order it it's a great book it's only 60 pages long it's not very long guys but it's great it's it's definitely a good read it makes you think I'll just leave it at that y'all but hey if y'all like my videos and you want more to keep coming hit that subscribe button and hit that like button guys and I will catch y'all in my next video bye guys